And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Elise Azir. We are back in ranked. We had two meme tier days on Monday and Tuesday, but we're heading back on over to ranked playing some competitive decks. We got two donation decks. We got an updated Lissandra Swain donation deck from a viewer and a Hecarim Endure donation deck from a viewer. So those are going to be uh, fun those but first before those two we're gonna be playing elise azir we played this deck one other time um about i'm kind of guessing maybe about 10 days ago or so and i thought that the deck felt really good i you know kind of titled that it was a really good rank up deck because the games are fast it's you know an aggressive deck but it it felt very good because it has a really good late game so it's an aggressive deck that if they can't stop you you're going to be able to um you know, you're going to be able to be real aggressive, but then you also have a great late game thanks to Neverglade Collector draining your opponent that can, you know, can keep healing you, draining the opponent each time an ally dies. You also have good card advantage because you have Spirit Leech, Stalking Shadow, Glimpse Beyond, and then even Ruinous Path that also drains the opponent um, and draws a card. So lots of card draw with all of those. And then, yeah, you got that, that, um, you know, then the reach with the nexus damage. So like you don't even have to be doing the damage in combat because you're never, your Neverglade Collector is going to be draining them. Your Ruinous Path drains them. And then you also have your Doom Beast, especially if you can Stalking Shadow as a Doom Beast, that can also get some more drain in there. So you're going to be real aggressive with like a Zier that attacks for multiple bodies, Elise attacks for multiple bodies, Doom Keeper multiple bodies, um, obviously Caretaker multiple bodies. So it's tough to stop, but then even once once they do stop and they think they've stabilized, lots of Nexus damage. So we're going to go ahead and get to it. So here we go. We'll play our five games in Ranked. All right. We got Shivana and Renekton. A couple four mana four fours that get bigger whenever they attack. We're definitely keeping Elise Azir. I think I'll mulligan second Azir, but I could see keeping second Azir. And kind of the same with Stalking Shadows, I'll guess I'll mulligan it. Especially how I don't have a one mana card right now. Sweet. Because, you know, I would like a one mana card before this. See what we see. So yeah, <laughs> Aggro really has so many options. Yeah, last time, last time whenever we, we changed two cards from the last time that we played it, but we talked about that at the very end of the video of like those cards to change is we took out um there was one copy of phantom prankster and we felt that was too slow took that out and then also took out one copy of this reaper we had we had um would you look at this place all right so we'll be able to trade there we had three of them before, now we only have two. Now we got two Stygian Onlookers in here also. We wanted a couple more one mana cards. Stygian Onlookers, like, a, you know, it's a fine one drop early, but it's also a very good one drop late with that 4 1 Fearsome, especially off of Stalking Shadows hitting. Like, it's a good card hit off of Stalking Shadows, so it's valuable to have in here. Do not see what is, see what will be. Yeah, they do not want to. Challenge my spiderling. All right, so I have a good attack right now, or we could Doom Keeper first. They are Shivana Renekton. So assuming they have a champion, if we play Doom Keeper, they play a four mana champion. Is that bad for me? Because like, I can go like Doom Keeper, then Doom Beast, then attack. <sighs> That's probably worth it, even though they they get a good block. Okay, so y'all can go first, then y'all can go, then you can go, and then we get the free body. Strike me. Yep, we're ranking with the decks. Yep. It will, yeah, so only Mondays are meme tier days, except for sometimes we do Tuesday meme tier days also if we have, if I have too many. Besides that, everything else is ranked. If it would also say up at the, the top corner, see how it says today's decks, so that means that we're doing ranked. If it it would say meme tier day, you know, like meme tier Monday, meme tier Tuesday, if it wasn't ranked. I 
serve my people with pride. All right, so I want to play Neverglade Collector this turn. However, if they have a vulnerable card, which is fairly likely, then they get to just challenge and kill my Neverglade Collector to start with. That would mean that they wouldn't kill Azir. Because alternatively, I can just play Bark Beast and Curse Keeper and save mana for Ruinous Path. I guess I'm just going to do that. That will allow me to, next turn, drop Neverglade Collector and attack. Suffer my and then obviously playing Neverglade Collector and then attacking makes their life pretty difficult. With them at 5. A true leader does not hesitate. Okay, so that will level... No. Oh, I think it plus... Okay. So yeah, so that will level up Reddington. It's pretty scary. Hey, beat your eyes. So basically what they need to win is they need a fight spell to kill Neverglade Collector. Which they got that, but they're still going to die. And that's our deck. There we go. Elisa Zero is one and zero. Look upon our work. Look what we have built. Yeah, strings back to working. Ooh. Okay, so Aphelios Twisted Fate's really, really good, but hopefully, we can be more aggressive and win quickly. So if I go. Bark Beast on one, Elise on two. Do I want to keep these onlookers? Like, do I, basically, do I want to keep the three one mana cards? Um, maybe I go onlooker on one. Bark Beast on two. You know what? I'll keep one of each. We'll see what they do. Okay. So them having the that 2-1, I don't want to just play like the onlooker they'll trade with it. We'll just uh, play the Azir next. Or sorry, play, play the Elise next. Have the Bark Beast in play so it can grow in case the Elise or the Spider die. I could certainly see this. They pass super fast. I could certainly see that being another box to puss. Do not see what is. See what will be. I kind of expect that with how how fast they just immediately pass. That probably means box to puss. Okay, so a space is catcher. One star's is another yeah, there's a lot of Fiora, Twisted Fate, Aphelios in the game. Those are you know, some of the very best. Those are the very best champions. But that's that's not all there is though. But there is a lot of those. I pull the strings. So is is next week the next uh, balance patch update? Why do I think they only had one mana? I should have attacked. The the Dust Bell of Dust Aphelios 
thing. That's gotten me a couple of times, just the animation. Because, like, the animation, whenever you cast a Felis, it shows, like, the three going down, but then, like, but then it goes back. Like, if, if you, like, if you're, like, on YouTube, for example, if you go back and rewatch that, it will show that it goes down to three and then come back comes back, so it only spent two. I, I thought they only had one mana left, because then I, you know, looked to chat and stuff. But that's gotten me before, also. The animation's wonky. Nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're playing Lysandra Wayne up next. That's a good. That's a good card. Speaking of good cards, that's a very good one for the opponent, as far as getting moon weapons is concerned. Caliburn. Yeah, they had a very good hand for them. Really don't like my options. This was uh, an amazing hand for a very good deck. I'm just using one card to try to clear up all those, but I, I don't... Yeah, like, this this game's pretty over. The Fally has Twist Fate. Yeah, they're 1-1 one, one drop on turn 1, they're 1-2 one, drop on turn 2. And turn 3, multiple bodies. I guess it wasn't just their only 1-1 one, one drop, but, like, their only good 1 drop to play on turn 1. Turn 3, the multiple bodies. Turn four champion, turn five champion. Fish strikes again. I guess I could play the Bark Beast first. That's just going to end with, you know, Phalius just making a whole bunch of moon weapons. That game was over. Okay, so all three of these champions with Demacia. We played against this in normal recently, all three of these champions with Demacia, and they were playing, like, some good Demacia cards like um, Laurent Protégé and stuff. I don't know if this is going to be the exact same list or not, but I was imp impressed with the list that the other person was playing. So we're going to have Reaper on one, and then Elise, and then... See, I like Mulliganing Doom Beast. I don't like keeping this in my opener because it is not only expensive for our deck, but also needs the Nightfall. So I like Mulliganing it. 
I think I'll keep Bark Beast. Wasn't sure about Bark Beast was one of them. I was kind of thinking between. Okay. I just Reaper is just like the safer turn one play out of like Reaper and Bark Beast. Like they both attack for one on turn one, but this is the safer play because of the fearsome. It's much harder for them to play something that blocks it. Um, I guess. So I have to play Elise to block that. There's nothing to fear. It will all be over. Soon. Like yes, I could have gone the onlooker, but that's not great. <laughs> Apparently, two mana three four challenger with draw is a good card. Who would have thought? Yep, 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 yep. Like my best play, my best aggressive play is Bark Beast plus onlooker. But mana wise, it makes much more sense to play Curse Keeper. We wear red to honor the fallen. <laughs> so yeah, this looks like the exact same list that we played in normal the other day. Cause yeah, they had that was like the two drop that they had, so they're gonna have like some dragons. For Aphelios, and yep, with Protege. Protege is incredible. Um, I do not have room to play Bark Beast because this this requires. Yeah, this requires three three rows of stuff to be able to do this, so. Sorry, other Bark Beast. Don't got room for you. Um, no, I don't think we ever did end up playing Shivana Jarvan. I don't think they play Judgment. I'll be shocked if they have Judgment. Yeah, I don't think so. I was kind of greedy them not playing another blocker. Definitely want to hold on to this, you know, to be able to help turn on Nightfall next turn. My best draw now is, you know, besides more like more of our drain effects, is like stalking shadows to find drain effects. So I can either go Bark Beast plus Doom Beast. Kind of feels like maybe the problem, like the, the Bark Beast plus Doom Beast line though, is you know, much worse than just drawing two cards if they do have Nexus Healing, right? Like, so if they have, like, Star, star Shaping. Like, if they have Star Shaping, I'd rather just play the Spirit Leech right now. I'm gonna just do that. We'll see, maybe this costs me. Yeah, Guiding Touch. Okay, so this one has Challenger, the other one doesn't. So that means, that means that card they just drew was a dragon. So this card right here, this third card is a dragon. You call this a fight? Aha. Two arms. So yeah, everybody has two arms. What, you think you're special? All right, so we know they have a gem, a dragon, and a random card in hand. So they can block 4-4-4, four, 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 take 3, go to 1. Or if I go Blighted Caretaker, if I go Blighted Caretaker and they just play like a dragon, then we go block, 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 block. They would potentially take 6. Did have star shaping. They just passed? We gotta be thinking like single combat, right? 
So basically, if I if I make this attack, they single combat, kill at four, they take six, they go to three. This would be them going to one. Or going to two, sorry. Okay, cool. Because basically, like, if they block, like, one of them, single combat, another, they, they take seven there, go to two, and then my Doom Beast finishes it out. About it, though. Alright, this is going to be a fun matchup. This is going to be very fast and brutal, and we'll see who has the better hand. Doom Beast definitely gone, and definitely one Curse Keeper gone. For our other Curse Keeper, we're going to need, like, Blighted Caretaker... I, oh, we'll keep the other Curse Keeper. This is a high variance card. This card could lose me this game, but it can also win me this game. We're going to try it. But Caretaker. Oh, those aren't good. That is not good. See what we, see. we want Ravenous Butcher or Caretaker. Nihilisk, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel, our very first sub of the day, a brand new Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much. Would you look at this place? Really? Three Curse Keepers? Here, you want to challenge it? Go ahead. What are you doing? Challenge it. Do it. Sweet. Look at that. We got a blocking... We got a Curse Keeper doing some blocking over here. We got our Curse Keeper on blocking duty. Yeah, so they, they were scared of me going like... Care, right, like, they were scared of Caretaker, I think, or like some, you know, something like that, like... And so... Uh, that's that's what they're scared of, I'm guessing. When they wanted their 3-1 to trade with my Maybe keep them from attacking. So if I play this onlooker, I can just open attack and let's see what that's looking like. Four three 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 four two. So like they they can block like four three and four two, and then take three three seven nine. Go down to ten. I could go down to eight and kill a two one. Let's do it. So we got four draw or four drain. So obviously, like the three one blocking one of these isn't great, but I mean we got those kind of for free anyway. Ooh. Wait, right, let's go. Do 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 do. Okay. So this would be them going down to eight. No, ten. Still. Never mind. I had I counted two extra. I guess I thought I had an extra two on the one I did. So we slayed the Gri Grizzled Ranger. What's up, Adam? Hope you're having a good day. And Mervin, hello, hello. Nihilus, thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying the videos. Nihilus has been uh, watching the uh, YouTube videos and learning from them. Happy to hear. So I go with the Doom Beast, like how it uses my mana better and everything, but, you know, we don't get to always play this Ruinous Path. I, of course, I do have the Spirit Leech that makes Ruinous Path a little easier. What's our plan? Because I kind of want to, like, I want to slay the Curse Keeper. Yuck. 
That's good for them. That's really good. Hmm. Strange. I guess it keeps me from blocking their 3 4. This would be the first two for Lucian. No rally, no rally, no rally. Okay, no rally. So the 2-2 gets to block Doomkeeper. That's 3 for Lucian. 3-4 block like 3-3. Three, three. Let's just attack. I mean, I have, I have this glimpse beyond. I can try to keep this Lucian from leveling up. Whoa. Hey. We didn't find an Everglade Collector, unfortunately. Of course, we, we didn't find a champion either. We didn't have Elise's ear. You know, either of our champions or an Everglade Collector. Or even, like, Stalking Shadows to go get multiple Doom Beasts. Nothing like that. Scare me. Stand and fight. They must have sharp sight. Really? That was the plan, Shapestone? That did nothing. Poor opponent. Okay, so they got Rally. Let's... I kind of want to just go with this Caretaker. We can also just... I don't know. Let them attack? So I can, I can like, Spirit Leech and look for another Drain card. I'm going to do this Caretaker. You so even if they... Like, they should attack. But if they just don't attack for some reason... You know, we just traded with a Rally. Okay, we found an Everglade Collector. But of course they have this Swiftwing Lancer. That's a good card. Doom Beast? No, where's the Doom Beast? I mean, I guess we'll grab another collector. Yuck. I should have grabbed the one drop. So let's see, what's the plan? If they have a rally, I'm in trouble. Yeah, this could this could go very south pretty quickly if they have a rally. I should have grabbed the one drop. I was thinking that. Like, this Collector being ephemeral, it will die. Yeah, Ogolong, yeah. It's like, my best play here is playing Neverglade Collector, but if they, again, if they, if they have a rally, I just lose this game. How'd I get to this point? I should have just caretakered. Yay, no rally. There's nothing to fear. 
my name echoes through every rock, every canyon. Sorry, Elise. Elise is like, come on, we finally drew a champion and you do that? Alright, there we go. We drained him out from 10. Alright, we got another shot. Back to our deck that we lost to. So this was our loss. It didn't look particularly close either. So time for us to redeem ourselves. Alright, we're keeping our opener. Oh, why did I keep the Doom Beast? I don't want to keep the Doom Beast. I'm not supposed to keep Doom Beast. The Emperor commands, the land obeys. And then we just drew another Doom Beast. I was just thinking about the other three cards, and I really just didn't didn't think too much of the, the Doom Beast. Because I just got on saying like a you know like a game or two ago of like, don't keep Doom Beast with this deck. And then I did. Because this is the problem. Like, Doom Beast is not only expensive, but then it, it also requires Nightfall. Oh, Felios is still broken with Boxtopus. I can't can't really play Elise because they just play Boxtopus. Still pretty broken. Taking the one mana card. Are they just gonna have Twisted Fate also? Yeah, I guess. I, yeah, I guess if they also have Twisted Fate, the game just ends on the spot. If I play Caretaker, they Twisted Fate red card. We can just concede. Because obviously, I want to do Caretaker and try to challenge the Aphelios and like make these block. You know, make them block and attack. But if they just have Twisted Fate, the game's over. So instead, I can just attack like this. Yeah, it's just the smart play just to attack like this. Can't really afford to just have the game end on the spot. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. It's a good card. I know what lurks in the shadows. Calibron. No, no challenge. Yep. So they were holding that. No guiding touch, please. Let that happen. Game over. There we go. Wow. We got there. Against Twisted Fate of Felios. Yeah, so uh, there we go. We got our revenge there. That, that last game, that one felt pretty good. Um, they still had a great hand there, you know, Duskbringer on turn one, and then, um, you know, don't play, you know, they didn't play anything on turn two, so they could save the spell mana, so they could play Aphelios and Boxtopus both on three. They had the Twist of Fate on four to wreck me, um, which, you know, even though we didn't play the, we didn't uh, play into that Twist of Fate, thankfully, we just, you know, made a good attack, put them down to six with a good attack there on turn four. They had a bunch of other, like, units and everything and did a lot of stuff and played some moon weapons, but... 
just doom beast doom beast ruinous path finish that game out because we had a, a good aggressive start with triple one drop so there we go so yeah the, the stygian onlooker looked great so this this card really did look look very good i wouldn't mind playing a third one of these um it, it really helped there with that four one fearsome and then even just you know it, it can just be a, a two one on turn one there's nothing wrong with that either um didn't get to do too much with stalking shadows we did have it that last game that helped out with the onlooker um but yeah, I really, I think pretty highly of this deck. I think this deck is is good. And, you know, maybe you lose to a Twisted Fate of Felios deck that has an amazing hand like we did that other time. But then even other times whenever they have an amazing hand, like, uh, you know, so like we lost the game two with their amazing hand and we won the game five, even against their amazing hand. And because, um, you know, it, does, it doesn't really get much better than Duskbringer and then turn three of Felios plus Boxapus and then turn four Twisted Fate. Like that's that's exactly what you want for the first four turns. They didn't have the Nexus healing this time, and we got there. All right, so that's that's Elise Azir. So this is a good rank up deck, you know. Like, so I guess they weren't like the fastest fastest games. This is fifty minutes for the five games, but um, good good early game. Get to attack. Got a lot of one drops, but then also good at late game with all of the drain effects and also all of the card advantage. So you got lots of card advantage, lots of drain effects. Um, I wouldn't mind finding room for a third Onlooker. Um, I wouldn't really want to take out Reaper. I like the Reaper, though, too. I kind of like Reaper and Bark Beast and Onlooker. I wouldn't mind finding, like, room for even more of all of those. Um, you know, maybe, maybe like, Glimpse Beyond doesn't fit in here, honestly. Maybe, like, Glimpse Beyond could be some of those. But the Curse Keeper can be kind of awkward at times if you don't. Like, you kind of need the Glimpse Beyond to help out the Curse Keeper because it, it can be awkward at times um, if you have too many Curse Keepers and not enough ways to kill them. All right, but anyway, that's our first deck today. Elise is here. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. If you've been playing this deck since my last video, if you were ranking up with this one, how I talked about it's a really good rank up deck, um, let me know how it's been going for you. We got another good 4-1 with it here. And uh, yeah, I like it a lot. So hopefully y'all try it out. Let me know over there in the comments. All right, but that's all I got here for Elise is here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.